Places we've been. These are all the awards we've won. These are the Newport to Bermuda and the Marion races. Well, see, but they didn't get a chance to clean up the grass. I know. Well, you saw them cleaning up there. I said they got to come down here and do that. Yeah. Uh, these are all the knots they have to learn. Yes. This compartment comes away so they can see the engine when it's running, so they can learn more about the engine. This is the room for the first officer and the engineer. Enough space for a clean side base. <laughs> so they come and get their knives and forks and they pick up the food. This goes on land and this goes overboard. Oh, okay. teach them recycling. This kitchen has served 15 days at sea with 32 sailors. That's 1,500 meals on mm. one chef. The chef sleeps up there with their little air conditioning so they're close to the kitchen. And in that compartment is a computer that connects the navigation station to this overhead. So they have a classroom. So there's 10 students here learning class while 10 sail, and then they swap according to the shifts or the watches. Oh, okay. So we teach them navigation, we teach them weather, we teach them school, we teach them uh, algebra. You know, like we're in a yeah. harbor, it's 11 feet, the ship draws nine and a half, tide's going down, how much chain do you learn? Oh, you mean algebra has a place on earth? You know, <laughs> yeah. We give them all the practical, it's called experiential learning, learning by experience. So there's 11 bunks here. There's one, two, this one comes out and hangs on a chain, yes. and there's one here. So there's three, three, three over there, and two over there. So there's 11 bunks in this compartment. Uh, Freezer, refrigerator, four box, store all the things for yeah. washer. Uh, <laughs> we stand by here. Wait, no, we have the children labor. We have children yeah. labor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have brochures, sir? Uh, yes, I have a brochure. Can I have one? Yeah, that's a calendar, but you can okay. have a brochure and a newsletter. Okay. So, this is what the ship is made out of. Oh, it's okay. five layers of Douglas fir, what they call cold molded, epoxy soaked, like this. And this is a layer of mahogany on the outside, and then Kevlar on the outside. Oh, okay. Amazing. Anyway, that's what, it's, that's what it's made out of. Oh, solid. So that's that wood there. Oh. The masts are carbon fiber. All freestanding right on the stern of the vessel. Oh, okay. Three masts, they're raked because that's what they used to do in the old days to get a belly in the shape of the sails and they used to move it a little bit. Like you see the America's Cup, they move all these masts. Yeah. That's what we used to do way back when to get a bit of a rake. Plus, if you rake a little bit like that, you can use the halyard to swing, grab the bounty of another vessel, jump on board and sail away. That was what we did. Oh, okay. We didn't have a lot of cannons on our vessels, we would just outmaneuver them. So these kinds of vessels can sail far closer to the wind than any other vessel. You were you were involved with them? It's round bone. You were involved with Sahara? Yeah, yeah. I know about Sahara's lighting. Yeah. So here's where another 12 bunks are. I'm gonna go this So we harness all the kids, we strap them until they can't fall overboard. This also is a life jacket. There's a bottle in here that as soon as it gets wet, poof, it oh, okay. up in plates. This is all the foul weather gear. Mm -hmm. Island Trading give us 50 sets of foul weather gear every two years free. My. That's their contribution to it. So we honored them by this little plaque. Good. Fully air conditioned. Yes. Annunciator, man on board, you know, man overboard, all hands on deck. Oh, okay. Two bathrooms, two heads, they call them heads. Yeah, yes. We have hot and cold, and this, everything in a vessel has to be a redundant system, so if the power is off and we don't have the pressure to run this, this is a pump. Yeah, like, the old, this, like the old... And this is a shower, so we, yeah, so we have a shower. 
the hot and cold shower. And you can see here that we use every possible square inch of storage. Oh yeah. This is all the Bermuda cedar trim that we have. So when students come down here on a Monday morning, no cell phones, no iPads, no suitcase with roller wheels, minimalistic living. Yeah. And they learn high hygiene, high uh, fiber diets for sailing at sea. They have a classroom, they learn to watch, they learn to clean the toilets first thing in the morning. Hey, mothers have thanked me for actually teaching the children how to clean the toilet. Well, they did have another young. Every one of these are what they call gummy suits. Mm -hmm. These are when, if you are overboard at sea, you could get into one of those, you'll survive three or four days. Oh, okay. It has a mask over, it has a mirror, a fishing hook, it has a whistle and all that sort of survival system. So there's one for every single person on board. Pardon me, go on. Well, you want to leave the biggest thing to stay over? Leave it open, yeah. Well, you worried about it? Well, it's just a little hard to keep that organized when everything else is. You need a cover. Close it and I'll get Delphi for it. That's good too. So in there is all the hydraulic system for the bow thrusters and the anchor chains and all that sort of stuff. So it is all highly automated, but it's also antique looking. There's 12 bunks here. So this is the end of it. Yeah. This is the bow. It's this the is bottom. the front. It's the front. Yeah. This is the front. So you do have some in the back too? There's no, no. This is the storage and all the anchor chains. So you can see in there. This anchor chain. This is the bow mount. There's another chamber in the front. But all through here is all the hydraulics to run all the bow thrusters. And so this is the accommodation right here? No, no, this is 12 here, 11 there, and then four more else further in the back. 11 there? Next door, yeah. Good. Want me to show you them?